may have heard the saying, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Sounds scary, right? My mom used to say that to me, but I never really knew what she meant. In fact, I didn't even know what a bed bug was. The goal of today's video is to introduce you to the basic biology and signs of bed bugs so that you can become a junior bed bug detective and help to curb their spread. Bed bugs are small insects that range in size from the head of a pin as an egg to an apple seed as an adult. They have six legs, antenna, a piercing needle-like mouth, and are flattened front to back like a pancake. Fortunately for us, they cannot fly or jump. They are, however, experts at playing hide and seek. Bed bugs are parasites, which means they survive from feeding on a host. Unfortunately, most of the time that host is a human. Since they must feed on blood, they are generally found near places that humans spend a lot of time, like a bed. Because most humans sleep at night, that is the time most bed bugs come out to feed. Although you and I sleep for many hours a night, a bed bug only needs a few minutes to come take a meal. For most people, a bed bug bite is painless, but will leave behind one or more itchy bumps. This is a good clue for a junior bed bug detective to look for. Imagine eating the same thing every day. I know I would get bored pretty quickly, but not a bed bug. They only feed on blood, which is why they spend their time hiding in spots near humans. As picky eaters, they won't eat anything else other than blood. But what happens if their human host goes on vacation? Will they starve? It's unlikely because a bed bug can go months without eating. They can wait for their next meal longer than most vacations last or rooms stay vacant. This is one of the reasons why bed bugs are so hard to get rid of. But what if you avoid going into a room that's infested? Or maybe you decide to sleep on the couch. Unfortunately, bed bugs can easily move from one room to another looking for their next meal. My goal today isn't to scare you, but I want you to be vigilant in your duties as a junior bed bug detective. I want you to be on the lookout for signs of bed bugs. If bed bugs have access to food, their numbers can quickly rise. A female bed bug can lay hundreds of eggs in her life. As you can imagine, this problem can get out of hand quickly. So where do bed bugs come from? The short answer is anywhere. They are masters at hitchhiking. Whether you go to a friend's house, a fancy hotel, a movie theater, or a library, if there are bed bugs there, they can easily climb inside a bag, climb onto your coat, or even hide in the soles of your shoes. And if you are unlucky enough to take an adult female home, you might soon have a big problem at your house. Your job as a junior bed bug detective is to spread awareness about this problem and to help remind adults about how they can lower their chances of bringing home a hitchhiker. Let's say someone comes home from a trip and they leave their suitcase on or next to the bed. If they happen to pick up a bed bug hitchhiker, they might be making it easy for that bed bug to hide in their house and start an infestation. It's virtually impossible to prevent bed bug hitchhikers, but there's plenty a junior bed bug detective can do to stop a hitchhiker from infesting their house. Any good detective looks for clues. When a bed bug takes a blood meal, they will go to the bathroom on your sheets or mattress. It looks like a small rusty red or black colored spot. It is important to look for these clues because the earlier you find evidence of bed bugs, the sooner you can try to get rid of them and the better chance you have of being successful. Sometimes you might not find live bed bugs, but you can see other signs that they are there. If you see eggs or the shed exoskeletons of bed bugs, you have gathered another clue. A flashlight is helpful in searching for more eggs and exoskeletons as well as live bed bugs. If you find any of these clues, it is really important to tell an adult what you have found. Finding them early is better than finding them once their numbers have gotten out of hand. Finding bed bugs at your house is not something anyone wants, but if it happens, you need to act fast. They will not go away on their own. 
telling an adult is really important, and that is what a good junior bedbug detective does. It's important to remember, bedbugs are nothing to be ashamed of. Bedbugs don't care if your house is clean or messy. They don't care if you are rich or poor. You can be old or young, a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. As long as you have blood, you can be their next host. The best way to get rid of a bed bug problem is to get help from a pest management professional, formerly known as an exterminator. There are chemicals and bug bombs you can buy at the store, but they don't work. In fact, some of them are extremely dangerous if used improperly and people have been hurt trying to tackle this problem by themselves. This is a time to get help. As the newest members of the Junior Bedbug Detective Squad, you are on the front line of helping to stop the spread of bedbugs. If you see live bedbugs, dead bedbugs, shed exoskeletons or eggs, tell an adult. If there are small reddish brown spots on the mattress or sheets, tell an adult. Waking up with itchy red bumps, tell an adult. Confronting the problem early is the best way to get rid of bed bugs in your home and to keep them from spreading to your family and friends. That way, the next time you are getting ready for bed, you can say, sleep tight.